Uh, we have a big Sanders supporter with us right now. Sal Brazelli is back with us, says the fight is far from over uh, and has nothing to do with whether uh, Hillary Clinton is later indicted or not. Your view, Sal, is that, as Connell was pointing out, it is, it is prohibited math, but it is doable math, that your candidate can still pull it off, right? Oh, it's, it's absolutely doable. And one thing that wasn't mentioned a few minutes ago, in, in addition to we think Bernie doing very well in the, the, the next half of these states, mostly out west, is this archaic, undemocratic, superdelegate situation where 15 percent of the votes are in their hands. Uh, you, you know, Bernie Sanders won by New Hampshire by over 20 percent, for example. Well, it's our belief that the superdelegates in New Hampshire should obviously support Bernie Sanders as their constituents voted. And there's a move to get to these folks. Uh, recently, Christine Pelosi, daughter of Nancy Pelosi, she's a superdelegate from San Francisco, and she pledged to vote to support the candidate that her constituents voted for. You know what's weird, and you raise a good point. I remember New Hampshire where the senator won in a walk. 20 points, and because of the superdelegate allocation, they left with equal number of delegates. That's not right. It's, it's archaic. It's absolutely not well, right. Why are there superdelegates? It's better than 700 of these. The Democrats argue that uh, you know, they're, they're, they're comprised of Democratic congressmen, Democratic senators. Uh, you have party officials, which gets really icky, uh, and, 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 and assistant officials representing all 50 states. But those are... That, that latter group, and I don't mean to throw a pejorative here, they're, they're party hats. They're, so where do they fit into this democracy wave? Well, you know, it's the establishment trying to hold on to their personal power. And, you know, I, like many other union leaders, believe that that needs to change. It's why Donald Trump and Bernie Sanders are having such, you know, success in terms of mobilizing um, disillusioned but, you know, voters so they've that have been around a long time. And now, I know they can switch. They're not necessarily tied to her on a first ballot. I think she had the lion's share of them early on in the 2008 race. And then they jumped over to then Senator Barack Obama. Uh, so they're not ironclad in her column. But it does take a lot to claw them from that column. Well, again, you know, part of our strategy, you know, on April 1, uh, union members from 86 unions across the country that endorsed uh, Bernie Sanders are convening in Chicago for a strategic discussion on, one, immediately uh, working on the upcoming primaries, but two, what's our strategic role at the convention itself? Uh, and the superdelegates is certainly one of those issues. And, and thirdly, and perhaps most importantly, beyond Bernie Sanders, uh, how we're going to continue to progress this political revolution. You know, you do mention a good point. Whether people like or dislike Bernie Sanders, like or dislike Donald Trump, it is the establishment, or whatever you want to call it, in each party, that seems to just do things just on the side that make you feel uncomfortable. Maybe nothing nefarious is going on, but it just makes regular voters wonder, right? It gives them pause. You know, that's correct. And I, you know, I uh, saw on your show that uh, I read in the paper this morning that President Obama is now indicating that. Uh, everyone should coalesce right. behind Hillary Clinton. I, I think he's absolutely wrong on that. You know, Bernie has gotten more votes from people under 30 than Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump combined. Ending this process now uh, threatens to disenfranchise these folks who are not only the future of the Democratic Party, but to the future of our country. Sal so, Roselli, very good talking to you. The National Union of Healthcare Workers. He's the president. Good seeing you again. Good day. Thank you.